friends, it's Danny. Welcome back to Dine at Frugal. On today's episode, we are going to be making a cauliflower cheese bake. Um, I got this beautiful head of cauliflower from the local gr um, greengrocer. I think it was like $1.50 or $1.99, and we're going to turn this into a delicious um, cauliflower cheese bake. So we're going to get to it. Um, I'm not going to talk for very long and I want to show you how I make it because it is so cheap and so easy um, and a great side for things like grilled. It's great for grilled chicken, grilled fish, um, roast. Uh, so cauliflower cheese goes really well with a lot of things so that's why I wanted to make it and we're going to use up this cauliflower because I don't want it to go to waste. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started I have my cauliflower on a chopping board and we are going to go ahead and uh, chop it into um, even sized florets so that way we can go ahead and boil it or steam it whichever one you want to do and that will cook the or at least par cook the cauliflower before we make our cheese sauce so that's what we're going to start with. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop off the leaves or tear off the leaves. If anyone has a more efficient way of cutting this into florets, let me know because I'm just going to hack this to pieces if I'm being completely honest. I'm going to just chop off the uh, stem. And I'm actually very impressed that, I'm actually very impressed at how cheap I got this cauliflower. I found that if I go to my local independent greengrocer, the fruit and vegetables are just extraordinarily cheaper than going to the big supermarkets and retailers. Um, so that's a tip for you. Have a look at your local greengrocer and see what the price difference is. Um, because the last time I did a comparison, it was about 50%. Um, the supermarkets, the big supermarkets were about 50% more expensive than, uh, the, uh, independent greengrocers. And the quality of the food is very, very good. Very good. I mean, this cauliflower has been in my fridge for a week and it's just beautiful, fresh, just as fresh as when I bought it. So I'm trying to, as we become more and more frugal, because prices here are just skyrocketing um, unbelievably, um, is to look at more and more ways of how we can save money on groceries, save money in different areas and that is one thing that I've been doing, avoiding the big retailers if I can and finding specials elsewhere. I mean, I bought some capsicum to make, um, I bought some capsicum from the greengrocers to make uh, stuffed, stuffed capsicum or stuffed peppers and uh, I got them for $2.99 at a kilo at my greengrocer and they were $14.99 at uh, Coles. So that is an enormous difference. And yes, I do have the stuffed re I do have the stuffed peppers recipe on my website, dineatfrugal.com. I do not have a video of it yet, but I am planning on doing one, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so I'm gonna cut them into florets about this big because I think that's that's going to work for us and once I'm done that with once I've done that with all of them I will bring you back and we can get these cooking. All right. So I have salted water that is uh, boiling and now I'm going to boil my cauliflower for 5 minutes. That's all we need to do in the, with the cauliflower. We just have to boil it for 5 minutes. So now that that's like that, I'll let it boil for 5 minutes and I'll bring you back so that we can make the cheese sauce. Okay, so our cauliflower is boiled for five minutes and now I'm just going to strain it. And I'm gonna put this pot back on the stove because this is where we're making our cheese sauce. So let's move back there and I'll show you how to make the cheese sauce. I'm also just gonna let the cauliflower just hang out here and drain until um, our cheese sauce is finished and we can put this into um, our baking dish. Okay, cheese sauce. This is really easy. I've got butter. And this is so much easier than buying it, at the, buying cauliflower bake or um, potato bake or anything at the store. Much easier and much cheaper to make at home. I've got milk. 
And I do have a scalloped potatoes recipe uh, on the channel actually. I'll link it below so that you can go and see that. I've got flour. I'm using gluten-free flour. This is a one-to-one -one, uh, gluten-free flour, so you can just replace that with plain flour. Um, I used to, before I went gluten-free, I used to make this all the time with regular plain flour, so it works either way. I then have mustard. And I like with this recipe where you can just throw everything into the pan um, and go from there. It makes it super simple and you're also using just one pan. I am going to season with a little bit of salt and pepper. I actually have seasoned salt here. And I'll... And I'll link that down in the video. This is not one that I've made. I actually used the one from um, Acre Homestead. So I'll link hers down in the um, down in the description. Okay. So I'm going to put my flame on. You want this over... Um, I'm going to put it over medium low heat. Because you don't want it to um, get lumpy. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue to stir this. Um, the flour will, I'm going to work out any clumps in the flour, that's what I'm trying to say, the butter will melt and then it will start to thicken and that's the majority of our sauce done. The last thing we need to add in is our cheese and once we get there I will show you what that looks like because this is going to take a few minutes. Alright, so this has beautifully thickened up and is ready for cheese. This is what it should look like. It should look like thick cream. Alright, so I'm going to let it cook for about a minute just to cook out that raw flour flavour. Maybe 30 seconds. Um, and I should mention that um, this recipe and all of the quantities and all of the ingredients are on my website, dineatfrugal.com, and I will also link... Um, the direct link to the recipe down in the description. So if you do want to make this, go down there, get the recipe. Uh, there's a printable version on there as well. So. so I'm going to turn the heat off. And the last thing that I need to add is our cheese. Um, so I have tasty and parmesan here. You can go ahead and add whatever type of cheese that you like. Um, the one in the recipe is tasty, but I had a little bit of parmesan that I want to use up. So that's what I'm going to use. We want the heat is off. I'm just going to allow the cheese to melt and then I'm going to taste this because I want to adjust for seasoning. Now, our cauliflower is not very salty, um, so I want to make this cheese sauce just a little bit salty so that when you eat it together with the cauliflower, it is going to balance out all of those flavors. Yep, so you adjust it to however you like. This does need a little bit more salt. A little bit more for good measure. I think that should do it, but I am going to taste again just to make sure. Cool. If you don't want to use the seasoned salt, use salt and pepper and season that to taste. Now what we're going to do is head over to the bench and we're going to put this together. Okay, so I'm going to pour in my cooked cauliflower into my baking dish. My hands are clean, so even though I'm touching the food, my hands are clean. And then... What we're going to do is just pour over our cheese sauce. So I just want it easy, evenly spread over all of the cauliflower. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven for about half an hour. You want it to get nice and golden on top and to heat all the way through. Yes, the cauliflower is still relatively hot. The sauce is still hot, but you want to make sure that it's nice and hot all the way through and golden brown on top. So my oven's at 180 degrees Celsius. So that's about 350 Fahrenheit. So this is going to go in and I will show you what it looks like when it comes out. And we're also going to cook up some honey soy chicken breast for marinated chicken breast for dinner. So let's do that. See you soon. All right, so our cauliflower cheese is out of the oven. It looks absolutely delicious. 
and it's golden brown and bubbly so I'm gonna put this on the table and so tonight for dinner we have our cauliflower cheese and then I have made honey soy um, chicken steaks I actually got these um, already marinated on clearance from Woolies so I just defrosted them they were in my freezer and I needed to use them up so uh, I just pan fried these um, really easy um, and I'm just covering them to keep them warm until Matt gets here for dinner. Thank you again for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like this video. I hope you go ahead and try the cauliflower cheese for yourself. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time for another episode of Dine at Frugal. Bye.